Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. I'm here in Times Square in New York City. It's the heart of the Big Apple. 2011 is going to be a very exciting and challenging year, and there's no better place to tell you about it than from right here in Times Square where the new year begins. Gemini, Jupiter and Uranus will be going down the super highway that leads to your 11th house. Now, the 11th house means that opportunities can come to you through friends or groups of people, associations that you are part of. A fond hope may be realized as well, but don't be too crazy. You know, keep a little foot on the ground. One foot can be way up in the air, one foot down on the ground. Now, if you get the opportunity to help other people, please do so. That'll be through a group or a situation like that. And this is a very good time for you to be looking to the future because you can feel what is coming. Now, when we come to March, Saturn is going to oppose Jupiter. And this is like driving through a construction zone on the highway. So you got to slow down a little bit. You must consider your boundaries between yourself and other people, especially when it comes to love and romance. There might also be some challenges to your creative abilities. So that's okay because the more you're challenged, the more creative you can be. Just move slowly. And think of things this way. When you are creative, do you just think of yourself or do you think of how you can inspire others as well? Try that route and your creativity will become more powerful and more solid. Jupiter enters Taurus. This happens in June. And boy, this can bring a hidden wealth of spiritual inspiration to you. So you must listen carefully. So listen to that intuition. And by the way, Neptune is going into your 10th house. And this is the first time that this has happened in 165 years. And you don't look a day over 90. So Neptune is a creative, imaginative, and spiritual force. This is how you must use this planet's energies. Use your intuition. Use the psychic in your business and in your career dealings. You might not want to tell anybody you're doing that, but do it anyway. And you really might be able to help other people, especially through a career or a social position. And finally, there is a warning. Uranus and Pluto are telling you not to fool around with group power and group resources. You must protect the things and the people that you love. Don't be foolish in business. Don't be foolish in relationships. And awaken to your true depth of passion. What is it that you really love? This prediction was for your general sun sign. Now, if you want to get better information that's based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the personal services page, and you can order a chart for your sign for the year that is much more accurate and much more helpful for you. And remember, we're here in the Big Apple in the Great White Way, and I hope you have a fabulous new year. Thank you.